In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Lamy Scala fountain pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink. And as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Lamy Scala fountain pen. It was designed by Seeger Design, which is a design firm in Germany. I think their most notable client would be Dornbrocht, which is a high-end kitchen faucet or kitchen and bathroom faucet manufacturer. They definitely have very bold kind of high-end designs. Their <laughs> advertising campaigns are sort of Tom Ford like very racy but anyway this pen won three design awards or an IF design award in 2015 and it won a good design award and a red dot design award I believe is that right red dot yeah red dot design award this is I think an underrated pen it's very good looking they say it's sort of a combination of a, a block and a cylinder uh, you know the cylinder obviously being the shape of the main body and cap of the pen and then you have this sort of squarish uh, clip here which it's definitely pretty striking I think in this matte finish with the uh, chrome it looks it looks really good it does look to me like a Dornbrocht <laughs> fixture especially here this looks like one of like the the knobs on um, one of their faucets this pen in this finish with the the matte lacquer finish is I believe $150 and they do a high gloss piano lacquer one with a gold nib and that's in the 250 to 300 dollar range They're, these are not cheap pens they definitely have a, a premium feel the body is metal there are some brass threading in here but i don't believe the whole pen is brass i think it might be aluminum or some other kind of metal it's not quite that heavy in terms of design it is a you know pretty cylinder cylindrical design it does taper towards the tail and there's a tiny taper towards the end of the the cap here but it reads pretty straight now the clip or, or the the finial there isn't one it's just chrome same things mirrored on the tail and then we have this very blocky uh, clip here with a sort of rounded uh, support there and it says Lummy and then underneath it does say uh, Germany and um, there's an interesting little circle underneath there. I probably can't show that. Um, I don't know if that's a machining thing, but it looks well finished. I don't know what that's for. It's a snap cap, and we have a very long chrome grip section, which is definitely a fingerprint magnet, but it's not too bad. And then it does have this tiny little lip sort of at the end that flares out, um, kind of preventing you from going too far down onto the grip section. Now these come with stainless steel nibs when you get the matte finish. Uh, they also do a, a brushed finish, which again has a stainless steel nib. And this is a 1.9 millimeter joy nib, but typically they would come with the standard uh, Lummy extra fine, fine, medium, broad, but it looks basically just like this. This one just happens to be a 1.9 millimeter stub. Again, if you have safaris or any other Lummy pen other than kind of a Lummy 2000 modern one anyway it'll fit. Now I don't believe that these come with a converter which is a shame. I'll double check that um, but I, I don't think that they, they do. This takes a Z27 converter. Inside the body you can see there are some brass threads in there but I don't believe the whole body to be brass but let me know if I, I'm wrong about that. It does post nicely. It doesn't snap on there but it posts securely it is on the top heavy side but i find it to be pretty comfortable although typically if i'm writing a long time i will take the cap off i think it's an underrated pen like to me the one that's most similar to this is maybe the lamy studio which is my probably least favorite looking pen that lamy makes and this one just looks really nice it has a really i think crisp elegant look to it. Now let's do some measurements. In terms of the length, it's about 142 millimeters capped and uncapped about 131 and then posted, it does become quite long, about 167 I would say. So way at the back here we're at about 10.9 or 10.7 and then right up at the tip here. It's quite a long grip section, 8.7. Very nice, it's a comfortable grip section. You know, it can be a little bit slippery because it is chrome, but I haven't really had any issues with that. So 25 grams, it's 
yeah, it's got a decent weight to it. There's no question about that. And if we add the cap, we're at 41 and that's, that's heavy. But it has for sure a premium feel. I can't really fault anything in the, the fit and finish of this. It's really good. I'm going to be doing the writing sample on a Papermind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. These notebooks are really good with fountain pens. And for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Now, we also do sell the matte version of the Lamy Scala, so you do get that discount as well. And we have them for a pretty good price right now, so definitely worth checking out if you're interested in this pen. Okay, let's do the writing sample. So this is the Lamy Scala. This is a 1.9 millimeter stub and this is Roshi Zuku Hana Ikata it's quite a pink ink not something I would typically pick but I'll do some fast writing. Yeah, I really have no complaints about the performance. Uh, <laughs> Lamy nibs are really good. You know, with the steel nibs, sometimes you can get a, a bad one, but honestly, most of the time they're really excellent. Yeah, I, I've had really good luck with them and this is super nice and I mean this is keeping up with it and that you know the honey kata is a very light colored ink and usually that can mean that it's drier but this is all keeping up here really really nicely um, you know there's not really going to be any flex in this and there's no point in doing reverse writing on a uh, nib like this but performance is really good I really like this pen. Okay. So what are my pros and cons for the Lamy Scala fountain pen? Well, I will say I really do like this pen. I think it has like a really strong look to it. It's minimal, but it has like a, a power to it. I think just the, the sharp clip and the contrast with the matte finish and the, the chrome. I think it just, it looks really nice. I really enjoy having this on my desk it just looks really great the fit and finish on this pen is excellent i have no complaints about it uh, it's made really nicely we have a long comfortable grip section uh, it posts quite nicely and it's just yeah good looking pen you get the interchangeable nibs like you have on a safari this pen i've had for maybe two months and i'm surprised by how much i I ended up liking it. It really uh, is an enjoyable pen to use. Now in terms of cons, that grip section definitely, well and all of the chrome trim actually, uh, fingerprint magnets for sure. Um, you could, it could get a little bit slippery on the grip section. It is a bit top heavy when posted because you have all this metal up there. I find it pretty comfortable but if I was going to go for a really long writing session, probably best to take the cap off. But you know, for a page or two, you can get away with this on here pretty comfortably. The other con, and I think the biggest con for this pen probably is, is the price. I think the retail is $150, and that's a lot for a steel nib pen. Now, they do make a high-gloss lacquer version with a gold nib, and that gets closer to $300. So the price is hard to justify. You do have really nice fit and finish. You do have a really nice design but I could see that being a hurdle for some people. Now, street price on these, I think, is around $110, $120. Uh, at that price, I, I mean, I personally like it, but you know, you have to be into the design. Uh, if you like the design of this pen, I don't think you'll be disappointed with it for that price point, but it is on the higher side, you know, I consider this pen to be very similar to the Lamy Studio, although I think this is a lot better but you know function wise i think they feel very similar um, and that pen is significantly cheaper than this one 
Okay, that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time.